Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here with my brothers, Michael and Thomas, and we're at Universal Studios today, and we're gonna meet up with my friends Mindy and Larry. You guys have seen them on the channel before. We're gonna have a fun day at Universal Studios in Orlando. But, oh, I do wanna go, so Universal has released all four now of the house masks. So they have Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin available. So I wanna pick up some house masks. Michael is a Slytherin like myself, Thomas is a Ravenclaw, and Mindy and Larry are both Gryffindors. So let's go get some masks before they get here actually. So you can buy the masks inside the theme parks themselves, but I'm going to the Universal Studios store which is located in CityWalk, so we have them walking in. I bought four extra masks, one from each house. Check out the description below to see how you can win one of these masks to win your, your house mask. Rest, we got you covered. We got some U-rest areas. Mindy and Larry have arrived. Hi. We're all wearing our masks. So we're gonna go to the Hogsmeade side first. Normally I go to Diagon Alley, which is in Universal Studios, but we're gonna ride Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. So Islands of Adventure opened like half an hour ago, and look at this, it's so dead. This is gonna be a good day. Here I am just enjoying the foliage. I do not consent to you using that clip. Wow, this is insane. I don't know if I've ever seen Hogsmeade this empty at this time. Even at night, it's never this empty. All right, you guys are on my phone now, so that's why the sound may be a little bit different. But we are in the queue for Hagrid's, or Hag Ride for a short. Great ride. If you want to see the entire Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure queue line, I think it was the grand opening of this ride video, and I show the entire queue. It's a beautiful queue. Beautiful, beautiful ride line. There's no need for that. Well, I think that's enough for today. You should probably head back. Let's be getting you out of here before you get blasted. Now, hit those purple buttons. The park literally just opened, and look at this. That's crazy! If you want to see Hagrid's Hut, there are two places you can see it. In the Flight of the Hippogriff line, or queue, and the Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure queue. So here's Flight of the Hippogriff ride queue, and that's the view you see. So we rode Hag Ride twice, and Michael and Thomas got the front row the first time, and then Larry and Mindy got it the second time for the first time, right? Yes. First yeah, time first time. time. That was our first time on the front row. We're on our way to Diagon Alley. We have made it. Let's go inside. I think we're all very hungry. Time to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> all the food. All the food. <laughs> we'll take the lot. You know, hungry? Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to mention, for those of you who saw the latest Loot Crate unboxing, Golden Egg 
drawstring backpack. Did you see this? It's the golden egg as a drawstring backpack. I thought this was like the most clever idea. So I started eating before showing you guys what I got, but I'm on keto again. So what I got were two sides of bangers, so two sausages, and then two sides of bacon. You get two per side, and I put some bacon in my side salad here, and ranch dressing. So if you didn't know, you can get individual sides of sausages or bangers and bacon as well. You can also get like sides of cheese. So if you're on keto, there are options. Not keto approved. So I went for the split pea and a side salad with Italian and then the kids macaroni and cheese and grapes and a side of applesauce. Okay, mac and cheese is not my favorite, but <laughs> <Is it laughs> <extreme> <laughs> <laughs> see, I told you. <laughs> Bacon and fries. What'd you get? I got fish and chips. It's my favorite. And I also got fish and chips. <laughs> I think this is new, yeah. I've not seen these pygmy puff robes before. I saw that. So we just went through the um, the tribute store, the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store. I didn't film it, but Mindy did. So check out her vlog of the day if you want to see all of the wonderful Halloween things that were inside of the store. Wasn't that Halloween tribute store the most it, amazing thing you've ever seen? It was very fun. We'll show you the front. Yes. And then we'll tell you some details about it. Just minor, minor details. Minor details, but check out Mindy's vlog if you want to see it in more detail. There it is. So it's so, because they aren't doing the Halloween, Horror Halloween Horror Nights because of COVID. Yes. There is a bedazzled skull that I shared on my vlog that is to die for. It's a couple hundred, I think, but don't quote me, I'm not sure. But it was gorgeous. We're headed off to where are we headed off to? The mummy. The mummy, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna try and ride Hagrid's as many times as we can before the night's over. Yes, that, that park closes at six. It's like, what time is it? Do you know what time it is, Thomas? It's... <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's like it's like four o'clock right now. No, it's too late. Wait, what time is it? We have two hours to ride Hag Ride. What time is it actually? No, they close at six. Oh, it's oh, two thirty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Cute little pigeons there. All right, we're putting our stuff in the lockers for the mummy. All right, so we're leaving uh, Universal Studio side to go back to Islands of Adventure, and we're gonna ride. Hagrid's and Jurassic Park. Larry and Mindy have never ridden Jurassic Park. No, we have not. It's going to be our first time. So they're going to ride Jurassic Park. And we're hoping not to get so wet. <laughs> we don't want to get wet, you know? It just wouldn't be ideal. It's like the perfect <laughs> weather and temperature for Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's very it's hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys have the same laugh. We do. Oh, yeah, we so do. Cute. Same <laughs> jeans. No, not even. Same jeans. Sword. <laughs> now, if you've already left the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and it's like, oh shoot, I wish that I had purchased this souvenir or whatever it is, you can go to the Universal Studios store at the front of Universal Studios theme park or the, uh, the trading post, which is at the front of Islands of Adventure, and they have the majority of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter items in those stores. So definitely check it out. I mean, it's fun to see even if you're not gonna buy anything. You can also get the special collector's edition wands in these stores. I've mentioned this in videos in the past, but these keychains here that have like your name on it, Universal will make you a custom keychain if your name isn't on the board or available, or if it's spelled differently, it usually takes a couple hours. And they engrave it here at Universal Studios. So if you go there and see your name is not there, you can buy one and uh, they'll, they'll engrave it for free. So they're not doing Halloween Horror Nights, but 
they didn't decorate either. So Mindy's very sad. Look at her, how sad she so is. Sad. Please excuse my momentary. <laughs> I took it down for a second. But I was saying it would have been awesome if they still decorated, even though they didn't do the haunted houses. Because you're still staying apart from people, but the decorations would have been really cute. The journey continues. It's very green. Slytherin grass. All grass is Slytherin. All grass is Slytherin. I just realized. Every tree is a Slytherin. Every tree is a Slytherin. Oh, that means fall trees are all Gryffindors. <laughs> <laughs> the sky. Sky is Ravenclaw. You're the sky. So tonight we're gonna eat tooth sums after the parks close. It is, they have like the best desserts I've ever had and good food. They do, they have the best flatbreads. Yeah, very I'm good food. I'm getting that. Oh my gosh, a penny! It's on heads! <laughs> we're having good luck. We're gonna oh, have good. eternal luck. It's our lucky day. So the other store, so now that we're in Islands of Adventure, it's the trading company. I called it the trading post. Um, so yeah, it's right when you enter right there by the turnstiles and they have actually a larger selection of harry potter stuff let's do jurassic park first and then go to hagrid's oh so also since we're in jurassic park we can see the new roller coaster they're building a jurassic park roller coaster basically the roller coaster i know it's so exciting it looks massive it does look huge i'm excited Gentle giants pose no threat to us. Oh no. Yeah, that was good. That was like a, a minute little rainfall. Uh, what? This is not good. Danger, keep out. Rev <laughs> We did well. I'm so happy. It's the lucky penny. It's the lucky it penny. The lucky penny. Day. Yeah. I thought it was the most amazing ride. I think it's in my top three now. My top three. I say two thumbs up. All right. Spinosaurus. That is going to be one fun roller coaster. For the ride for Bin Journey, which is the castle ride, they're building new lockers right here, and the current locker situation is crazy because it's, it's cramped in this little area. They use the old lockers with your fingerprint. This way you'll just be able to scan your park ticket or your annual pass. These are the lockers right here. And um, the rumor is that they are going to expand the store, the exit store, which is Filch's Emporium. So that's also pretty cramped. It'd be nice if they expanded into the old locker section, which is the rumor of what they're gonna do, but um, yeah, it's gonna be nice when those new lockers open up. My brother Michael just mentioned that like from Jurassic Park to Wizarding World, it's like one of the most seamless transitions, which makes total sense. So it's like Jurassic, Hogsmeade. All guests are required to wear a face covering at all times, unless actively eating or drinking and clear of traveling guests. Please practice social distancing using ground markings where provided. Hi, sir. <laughs>
You want a caramel apple? No apple for me. Yes. We both have annual passes. Before we end the day and go to dinner, I needed a little snack. So we came into the three broomsticks and I got a kid's chicken legs. Oh, they just arrived. And here they are. So you can get kids meals as adults and they're just smaller portions and little snacks. So two little drumsticks and some grapes and a little thing of applesauce. And then Michael and Thomas got uh, chicken fingers, the kids chicken fingers. Look at how empty this is. It's crazy. The park is closed now and they close early with everything that's going on. So they close at six here on the Islands of Adventure side and then the Diagon Alley side or Universal Studios side closed at five. But it's so empty, it's so nice to just be in Hogsmeade in front of Hogwarts with it empty. So we rode Hagrid's one more time. Michael and Thomas were in the front the first train or first ride. Larry and Mindy were in the front for the second. And then I was in the front for the third. I didn't tell you guys. It was awesome. Great. Until next time, Hogsmeade. Uh, when Peter gets close, when I say go, look to the camera and kind of laugh or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go in for the kiss. Tell us when to go in for the kiss and then... Like this low? Yeah. Okay. You direct, Thomas. And action. <laughs> Tell me when to go. Kiss and go, Peter. Move in. And look at the camera. It's going to be really good. I hope I'm smooth enough. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's really amazing. Good. Mr. Potter Collector, give us your highs and your lows. My highs and my lows. Well, I mean, a high, it's gonna sound cheesy, but it's not, it's true. A high was being with you and Thomas. Oh. Oh. Did you hear that, everyone? Another high would be Jurassic Park, that was a high. Lows, the times leading up to when we all needed coffee. <laughs> and we're very tired. <laughs> what about you? Um, highs. Just having fun, lows, the sun. <laughs> Put them together, the fun and the sun. <laughs> okay, Tommy, we did our highs and lows. Highs and lows of the day? Yeah. The high is how empty yes. the park was. The low was how hot it got in the middle of the day. Yeah. Michael said fun was the high, <laughs> and the low was sun. Fun in the sun. I think that that just encompasses the whole day. It does. A high was getting to ride Hagrid's in the front seat for the first time with Larry. The low was being separated from Larry on our last ride of the night on Hagrid's. I second that. They were and being here with you guys. Oh yeah, that's a high. So Universal's, oh sorry. <laughs> Universal's doing this promotion thing where if you spend $80, you get like a $20 voucher or gift card. So I spent the $80 and have a $20 voucher on my annual pass. So I'm in the store seeing if there's anything I want to purchase. I think I'll save it till next time. It expires in December, so I'll be back before December. Oh, but I am going to get another set of house masks because I'm going to do the mask giveaway on Instagram in addition to here on YouTube as I mentioned earlier in this video. So you have two chances to win if you are part of the Potter Collector community on Instagram. If you're not, go to at the Potter Collector and you have two chances to win one of your house masks. Details below. All right, so now we're going to Toothsome's for dinner. Follow her. We're lost. Awesome, thank you. Oh yes, oh yes. That felt like such a long walk. Didn't it, it though? We barely moved, like. Well, I got a filet, the filet mignon, and Mindy also got the filet mignon. Larry got the New York strip steak, and Michael and Thomas got the crab and shrimp mac and cheese, which I really want, and I'm gonna taste. Oh, Peter. What? 
grass. I know, the green grass. If you come to Universal, make sure you hang out at City Walk in the evening. Sit on some grass. Well, it was a fun day here at Universal Studios. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to comment. No, like. Now it's time to subscribe. No, like. Okay. Now it's time to like. Like. <laughs> oh, comment. <laughs> now it's time to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm from Hazlitt, New Jersey, and keep collecting. Say surf's up on three. One, two, three. Surf's up. Very cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?